May profits be upon you. I hope you're doing well. Let's take a look at the U.S. dollar index. All right, you'll see I have writing on here. Prices at a crossroads and the, res and the res respect and disrespect of the uh, fair value gaps highlighted will give us a bias for the rest of the week. Wednesday is FOMC. Price will likely be range bound until the news. Now, uh, I should mention uh, that you should be checking your uh, your news feeds, your news calendars, because you'll see that uh, come Wednesday, the uh, the Fed is going to be doing their thing, all right, for the interest rate decision. So you want to make sure that uh, you are aware, so that you're not in a trade, and then all of a sudden you see the spike the spiking of price through your stop loss, right? But I also want you to, I, I, I'm looking at this, uh, this Sunday outlook for the week that's coming uh, with that in mind, because you're going, you got to expect there to be some ranginess, some, uh, uh, some meandering, some drifting of price until the news is announced. All right, and I expect to see that in the U.S. dollar. All right, uh, and in U.S. dollar pairs. So you be careful on Monday and Tuesday, uh, uh, and Wednesday, because you're not gonna you're not gonna have a full. Um, th there's gonna be some unpre un unpredictability to uh, price, and uh, as it ranges. All right, so be careful of that, and uh, you know you might want to just take of those days off uh, from trading, or at least leave the U.S. pairs alone. All right, so um, what I want you to see is that we are in this, on the daily time frame. we are in this fair value gap. It's a bearish fair value gap. Price has made its low here on uh, the 28th, well, last year, December, and I mean, the <laughs> dog on the last day, right? And, uh, uh, it's been bullish since then, all right, running up into this fair value gap, all right, and we have been bearish since. You see this low? This low was created February 22nd, right, and it represents the swing point, and as price pulled back up from it and and convincingly closed below that low, it, was, it represents a Microsoft, uh, Microsoft uh, a uh, microstructure. A market structure uh, shift, all right? A shift in market structure there. So uh, things went from bullish to bearish with this strong close, and then we had a follow-up behind that, right? And this created a fair value gap. And when I see fair value gaps like that, that's what I look for. When I look at those fair value gaps, I'm looking at there's going to be, price is going to run into some resistance uh, trying to uh, go back up the other way, all right? It has to get through these fair value gaps first, these bearish fair value gaps. And if price cannot get past and these fair value gaps do hold, well, uh, we know that on a lower time frame, as price enters in our POI, the uh, place of uh, interest, uh, when we mark these POIs, we want to see how price reacts once it gets there. All right. So we can look for an entry pattern, all right, an entry or, or it, whether it checks the boxes for our entry criteria, right? So uh, uh, if uh, if I'm thinking, if my thinking is correct, up until Wednesday, we should be looking at a bearish scenario, all right? I'm going to expect to see some bearish uh, uh, price action over here, all right? If we go down to the one hour, we take a closer look at things. You see, I have that arrow there because I'm, I'm reminding myself, I have to look for bearish uh, pr price action. And you can see this dotted line going across the middle there, that is the consummate encroachment or the 50%, uh, the, the midpoint of the fair value gap. And when we see price break and close convincingly above it, we can we, it kind of indicates that price is probably going to fill this fair value gap and uh, continue higher. If it's not going to respect that uh, bearish fair value gap, then the bulls have it and we have to go with the bulls, right? You understand? All right. So right now prices come back, uh, tapped the, uh, the bullish 
fair value gap. And uh, here we are, you know, uh, in the, the bearish one. If price comes back through here, all right, price comes back down, it respects that of a fair value gap and it comes back down in here. I'm looking for this to either hold or fold. Either it's going to be respected or not. This will uh, indicate to me whether uh, we're going to have a strong U.S. dollar or a, uh, a weak U.S. dollar. And we'll definitely know which one it'll be come Wednesday. But I'm, I'm waiting to see what the price action is. OK, uh, that's it. I'm waiting to see what the price action is. And uh, I want you to also uh, see that we ha are in this range, right? This is the dealing range from this swing low to that swing high. This is the dealing range. And we've come back into premium price as opposed to discount price. We want to take shorts from the premium price and longs from the discount, all right? And um, we are in the short area, all right? And this is where you want to start to look for your setups anyway. That's my uh, bias on that. Uh, uh, right now, I'm leaning bearish because we had a uh, a, uh, market, a market market sh structure shift, a shift in the market structure there, and uh, we had a bearish break here. So uh, I am leaning towards bearishness. Uh, price could come up a little higher, uh, fill this fair value gap, and hit a bearish um, uh, uh, order block. All right, a bear short block and then continue down. But we're going to wait and see. We're going to wait and see. Okay. Let's look at uh, uh, the S&P. We'll go through that. All right. We're going to back to the daily uh, time frame. All right. Let's see. All right. You can see we've been very bearish. A very bearish. We've been the opposite of very bearish. We've been very bullish. And we've reached that all-time high. All right. And what happens here? You'll usually see me uh, uh, label this as external uh, liquidity because prices reached a high. When we, when we reach highs, or important highs, we want to start looking for shorts. We want to short from those highs. All right. We want to long for where price is going to uh, seek liquidity after a uh, external uh, range of after external range of liquidity is taken price starts to look for internal range liquidity. And that comes in the, in the uh, form of a fair value gap, a fair value gap and, and order blocks. But I look mostly for fair value gaps. And uh, we have some fair value gaps, not just this one, but this is a monthly one. So it's going to be pretty strong. You see how it's signal, this high here signals the fair value area and uh, price use, it, for the most part, we'll respect those fair value areas. Now we have a uh, the other, uh, I didn't mark it, the other um, fair value gap is right here. All right. And you now this is a long way for price to tra travel. You know, I'm not exactly looking for price to come down all the way down here. There is a fair value gap here. So let's take a closer look at that. Right now, um, you can see price has come into this fair value gap. It's respected it, respected it twice. All right, you see that dotted line. That's the the, the midpoint. All right, the consummate encroachment, the uh, mean mean threat mean, mean threshold. Right, you want to see that uh, uh, price respects that. And it did. It traveled up higher from it. This is what the pur purpose of a bullish uh, fair value gap is, to propel price higher. All right. And when price doesn't respect that, then we know it's going to go lower. Right. So um, we can see that we have some uh, immediate targets here. Uh, once price reached that high, pulled back, and we had a uh, uh, an attempt to go higher, an attempt to go higher. These are failed swing highs, failed swings, all right? So, uh, swing failures, right? And we had three bearish candles after that. Uh, I'm looking for price to take that low out and mitigate again this fair value gap area. Now we could take this low, take that low, because this is low hanging fruit. Take that low. These, is, these are the uh, areas that I'm looking for price. This is a swing point here. And uh, 
and I'm looking for price to establish a, a, uh, a change in the state of delivery. All right. Once we get a convincing close below this low and that low, we know that price is definitely uh, turning from bullish to bearish. You got it. So if we take a, just a, a, a quick peek on the one hour, um, if we can see how price has left behind some bearish uh, fair value gaps. All right. And you see the displacement. All right. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for price to possibly take out this high here to this candle. All right. Take out this high to this candle the same way it took out this high in this fair value gap. Right. Took out that high, came up, touched and dropped hard with a lovely displacement. I'm looking for price to do the same thing here. If I can get it to right there, here and then boom. All right. And possibly take out this low and this low and mitigate this uh, fair value gap once again. That's the that's what I'm looking for. All right. But we're going to watch and see what the what the price action is. If we go to the uh, NASDAQ, we're going to see close to the same thing. Not exactly the same thing, but you can see this one is uh, pretty, pretty, uh, you know, very, very, uh, uh, a little different. You can see that we have a break and close on Friday below these lows. All right. That's different from what ES showed us. Okay. You see these lows, you see these lows. It has yet to do this. Okay. If we just do compare, we go on uh, the, uh, the Dow Jones, you can see that uh, price has already uh, taken out some lows already. We never took out that high from uh, Friday of the of February, the 23rd of February. We never took out that high. We never reached the all time high. This is a, this is the weakest of the three. Go back to NASDAQ. You can see that those three strong candles, those are very strong compared to the ones that we saw in S at the S&P. And I'm looking for a bearish fair value gap to, to form, to see, the, to, to get a, a stronger indication that price is gonna continue bearish, okay? So uh, we have a, a bullish fair value gap here and you see prices respected it just like it did in the ES. All right. But we have a strong close and that close went below the means threshold of the uh, of the uh, fair value gap. All right. Yes, we still have a market. Oh my God. We still have a market, uh, market structure shift here. Right. All right. Where it made that high where it made the, uh, the swing high. All right, so I'm looking for a price to continue to this low. The new daily candle, I'm looking for the new daily candle to take that low out. And, and we'll see what price does after that. This is a far away target, all right? And this is a, a, a the monthly uh, bullish fair value gap. So I'll, I'll be very interested to see if price ends up down here. If it does, this will be a great place to look for longs, all right? We are in the external uh uh external liquidity and we need to price will need to seek internal liquidity and that could be right here that could be right here so, all right so uh i'm looking for the a low to get taken out uh, an important low like this or a mitigation of the monthly fairy uh, bullish fair get fair fair value gap got it all right let's go to Oil. I'm definitely going to be looking at oil being that I'm going to be standing off and watching uh, the U.S. dollar pairs. All right. You can see that we have reached a level of external uh, liquidity up here. This is the external range. All right. We took that high out. And once it takes the high out and then closes, closes above that, a strong close, that's a very bullish uh, indication to me. And what I also want you to see is that we have created bullish fair, value, bullish fair value gaps. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble talking today. All right. After it took this high, we, we got these bullish fair value gaps. This The Friday candle uh, closed and allowed us to see these things. So I'm looking for price to quite possibly test into these fair value gaps and then continuing higher because I don't have a bearish indication 
in the uh, in, in oil just yet. All right. I don't have that bearish indication. I'm looking for a pullback. And if that pullback, if that pullback is more extensive than I think, all right, if it's more extensive, that's awesome because there is, oh my goodness, there is a lot of liquidity to come and get. All right. We've hit external uh, 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 liquidity. We need to find internal liquidity. Internal range is right here. All right. This fair value gap, these lows, all of that is liquidity. And price could very much, if it wants to, come on down here and come and get it. And we can look for good areas, a, a great area to, to take a high probability long from. All right. But the but the short from here, we have to look on those shorter, the, low, the lower time frames in order to get a uh, wait for a good setup. And what would be a good setup? All right. We see that this may be a swing failure. All right. Because uh, it didn't take out. Sorry. Because it didn't take out this high. Wow. It didn't take out this high here. All right. This might be a, feel, a failed swing. Turn that off. That's driving me nuts. All right. But you can see that price hit some uh, uh, external range liquidity. And if it takes out these lows, this will be a change in the state of delivery here. And uh, once it does that, I'm looking for that. Uh, I'm looking for price to form bearish fair value gaps. Looking for those fair value gaps to be tested and then price continue lower. All right. And uh, seek out the low hanging fruit that I had pointed out earlier, which is the um, liquidity under these lows. Okay. So far, I hope you're staying with me. And uh, 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 let's see what we got else. What else do we have? Uh, gold. All right. Let's look at gold. I'm not going to spend too much time on gold because it's pretty simple. Gold is at all-time highs. No, it's not. Wait a minute. Not all-time. I'm sorry. We're at a an extended range. It, price has extended itself and I'm thinking it's time for some kind of pullback, but you know, I'm not going to anticipate the pullback to start. I'm looking for, it, look, it looks like it has, but uh, price could, if we take a closer look at this, price could uh, go higher from this small fair value gap. It, it, just because uh, it, it, we hit external uh, liquidity doesn't mean uh it's going to immediately come before the external uh, for the internal liquidity at these fair value gaps all right you see this is the first value first very first very fair value gap for for furry 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 all right uh right here and uh uh this thin one uh, I, you know i'm not going to hold my breath that it will hold price and make it go up all right. If it does, that's fine. I'll be looking. I'll be looking for the contact by price with this area and see if it gives a, a a bullish setup. But you can see where I got these S's here. Those lows on the lower time frame are low hanging fruit, and I'm looking for price to come and get those that low hanging fruit. Okay, I, I actually tried to get it. All right. I'm looking for price to come and get that. And I'm looking for a significant move to the upside and a pullback. And then I'll I'll get on I'll get on board from here. All right. If it decides to do that. All right. If the uh, price starts to um uh play around around here for Monday and Tuesday, uh you know, it, it, I, I I'll have no position. I'm waiting for a significant move to happen. Let it take some liquidity and then give me a strong move to the upside. Breaking structure. I need to see a market structure shift before I enter in this trade. All right. Otherwise, if price keeps coming down, once it takes uh, takes that liquidity, I'm looking for in this leg, I'm looking for uh, 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 fair value gaps. I'm looking for bearish fair value gaps for a price to respect and price to come back and test and then come down further into this uh, 
fair value gap here. That is the trade I would like to take. All right, because it's a, it's a you can see that because it has to travel a ways, that would be awesome. You know, I would love to take that short into this uh, internal range liquidity. All right, it may not stop here. It may come all the way down here, but I'm looking at these highs and the range of price from this swing low to this swing high. I'm looking at this area, the 50% area, all right, the equilibrium. I'm looking for price to come back below equilibrium into discount for me to get involved in a long trade. So if I could find that that uh, short up here, as it takes this trip down, that'd be great. There is another fair value gap here. All right, I want you to be aware of that. That's further into discount, which will give us a better trade. All right, so I want you to just be mindful of it. All right, uh, but this is the first area that we're going to contact. So that's the first area I'm going to be looking for uh, price to set up something uh, nice for dinner. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep that in mind. All right. We can go to silver. Silver has a sim similar situation because there's so much bullishness in that. All right. I'm looking here. You see that that's a, a an order block, a bullish order block that led to the break of these highs over here. And that's a significant high. There's a bunch of liquidity up there that price has grabbed. So that for me is an external range liquidity. And I'm looking for price to come back to internal range liquidity in the form of this uh, this bullish order block, all right? If it comes all the way down here to this bullish fair value gap, which is below the uh, the equilibrium of this the swing high to swing low, all right? You can go to this swing low as well, all right? And this will be within uh, our, our uh, discount range. You know, that's what I would love to take along from there. That's all there is to it. I would love to take a loan from those areas. But right now, we're going to look, we're taking a look at uh, silver and it coming into contact with this uh, uh, daily uh, uh, fair value gap, this bullish fair value gap. All right. And if price does come into it, I'm not going to take the short into it. No. All right. But if I see price uh, give a convincing close below that low, all right, a, a breaking close on a daily basis, on a daily closing basis. If I can see that, then I know price is probably going to be bullish. I mean, bearish, excuse me. All right, and I'm going to be very careful on my longs until this thing is broken. I want to see a displacement to the upside before I take my long. You understand? That's what I want to see. All right, and the price uh, drops past here, which is fine. Then, uh, you know, I'll look for the pullback. After it breaks or with a convincing close, like I said, and I see bearish fair value gaps along the way, price has to respect. I'm going to be looking for those areas to take that short down in here because there's a lot of uh, profit to get from there. And, uh, you know, we got enough range for profit and I'll be looking for longs once it comes into contact with that bullish fair value gap down here. All right. I hope that makes sense. All right, let's go back to the daily. All right. Now. Again, this is a U.S. dollar pair. This is a uh, uh, <clears throat> the euro. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. All right, the euro. We have a bearish bearish fair value gap already formed. Uh, this is Friday's candle. All right, this is Thursday's candle. All right, and uh, we have a bearish fair value gap. Price could come back up into that fair value gap. Take the high from Friday. I'm sorry. Take the high from Friday, and. Uh, and, and come on down to this uh, where price has formed a bullish, uh, uh, well, it, it, there's a uh, a change in the state of delivery, turning from turning the market from a bearish one to a bullish one, okay? But did it form a, 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 uh, uh, an order block here? Did it form an order block here? Some people are going to call this. Oh, sorry, why it freaks. Some people are going to call these order blocks. I don't like these order blocks. Why? Because they didn't leave a fair value gap. I, 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 I like to see fair value gaps left uh, behind when an order block is formed. 
They let, that gives me that they're stronger. They are more reliable. Okay, fair value gaps and um, uh, and order blocks are our internal uh, areas to look for uh, liquidity and all. All right, but uh, th when they don't leave fair value gaps, eh, uh, things can get a bit sketchy for me. So I watch these very carefully. I watch these areas very carefully to see if price gives me a, dis a, a good displacement and then a pullback, and then I'll take a long. You understand? That's my that's my sequence. All right. I hope you do the same. But uh, this is going to be the first area that I will be looking. Price comes up. I'm looking for it to come down. That would mean a weak uh, U.S. dollar. If price comes up and takes that high, then uh, uh, my weak U.S. dollar uh, scenario is out. Is is you know just I. I it's eliminated. It's, it's done. It's, you know, I want to. I'm going to change my bias. I'm going to have to change my bias because uh, this high should remain protected. If 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 this uh, fair value gap here fails and price goes higher, then I'm going to be looking for a displacement. I'm going to be looking for bullish fair value gaps because it's not respecting bearish fair fair value gaps. I'm looking for the bullish ones to uh, uh, support price and. Uh, push price higher to that high. I hope that makes sense to you. So, uh, because I'm noticing that there is no bullish fair value gaps in this leg of structure here, I'm going to be very, very careful. That's what I'm going to do. All right. If we look down on the uh, on a lower time frame, do we see uh, where price could could support uh, the movement here? Well, uh, you know, you got. A little one here, a little one here. This is on the four hour, all right? There's some support here. Uh, you know, I, there is bearishness here, all right? There's bearishness here. We're going to see if price uh, continues lower here. Once it gives me a convincing uh, break and close below that low, you know, I'm, it uh, sells all the way. Sells all the way. All right. If uh, Same situation with... Uh, uh, the bit the British pound, the British pound. All right, the cray for pound. All right, so uh, you see, prices reach uh, an external external range of liquidity. I'm looking for it to come down, and uh, excuse me, I'm looking for it to come down and uh, look for uh, internal range liquidity. All right, and in this instance, we do see. Uh, uh, we do see, uh, let me do it this way. I see a, a, a bullish fair value gap, but it didn't leave a bullish fair. It left a small one. It left a small one here. I'll be honest with you. I see it right here. It left a small fair value gap right there. All right. Uh, to Which is a, a, a better sign than what uh, the euro did. I have the strongest. Uh, because it it created all of this hard freaking uh what do you call it uh resistance here and then broke that range broke that consolidation all right to the upside i'm looking for price to pull back and i'm looking to go long right at this ob if price comes down to this ob which may take a day or two if price comes down to this ob uh this may be the place to take take longs from strong Break and close above the F and G, the F, FVG would signal going long. Yeah. All right. So I'm looking for price to come into this uh, this order block here, and we'll see what happens after that. Uh, and on AU, all right, we have a similar situation. All right. You see the external range here. Price comes up into that. There is a fair value gap here, a bearish one, right? Price does respect it uh, right off the bat, okay? Uh, from ex external range to internal range, we have a bullish fair value gap here, and it looks like uh, there is a change of the state of delivery here, right? So I'm looking for price to come into this, dance a bit, go on the lower time frames, and look for a bullish entry, a uh, a long, right? I'm looking for uh, an entry criteria to be met. So. If price comes down to the uh, consummate encroachment, the 
the middle of this of this uh this sorry all right why did i do that all right let me get that off all right uh the price comes down to here to this uh, uh the middle of it all right i would like to see a displacement a pullback and that's when i would get in oh yeah and take this take this up all right because that would signal a weak uh us dollar all right we'll see what happens on wednesday you know i'm not going to anticipate anything all right i'm not going to anticipate i'm going to let the pa give me my signals let the market give you its signatures what are the signatures a change in the state of delivery right fair value gaps being uh respected or disrespected that's when you make your moves that's when you look for to tick off to check off your uh entry criteria okay so uh bear that in mind will you please so i'm going to go back to the uh daily time frame and you can see price turned this was a very deliberate uh uh change in the state of delivery price comes up pulls back and it looks like we are on our way no we didn't get a daily close above that high just yet all right what we have is a sweep of liquidity but we didn't get a run of the liquidity which uh, which would include a break and close a displacing move that would dem demonstrate strength to the upside all right so we did get we did get a a, a new high uh technical new high so i'm looking for price to pull back into this fair value gap and push higher this looks like a great situation here so i'm going to definitely watch au uh for this um you know for the uh, uh the week coming all right and that's it i hope you enjoyed this i hope you got something out of it if you have any uh questions on any of these uh or any of the the markets that i went over if you got questions about the analysis please leave it in the uh, comment section leave me a question and i'll be happy to answer it uh and i will I hope that you will trade carefully this coming week. There's going to be a lot of volatility. May profits be upon you and have a great weekend. Oh, a great week trading.